the team and I have spent, I think, at least three years trying to educate the usage, the benefit of the drones, what the data can be used, and so on. One of the biggest challenges is of making people believe that we locals, as young as we are, we are able to provide full-scale services. Innovero is a end-to-end -end drone business. Um, what we typically do is we gather data for our clients, analyze the data and provide our clients with the data that they need in order to make better decisions. We very much focus on industrial applications. We have different sizes to actually cater to different industries. So we have the M2 Pro where it's much more compact to actually map. We also have an industrial one where it is capable to actually um, conduct inspection or monitoring itself, monitor for thermal signatures or for zoom capabilities as well. And we also have an agriculture drone, so this is actually used for spraying. We also have an Insta360 where this is more to its 3D modeling, so we can actually conduct both interior as well as exterior of a building. We also have a 3D printer. We use this to design our IoT prototypes. So we can also 3D print our drone parts as well in-house. The first piece of business was LifeWire, where they acquired drone spraying. From there, we saw a need in the agriculture industry. So we decided to approach MPRT, POC, to do health crop monitoring at Wasan, which is about 300 hectares total. We do a weekly monitoring, start from land preparation all the way to harvest. During that time, there was an outbreak. The data that we collected shown changes. From there, we also had an opportunity to try to control the pest attack. The government issued 12 carton worth of pesticides. Five days, uh, we managed to cover 75 hectares. And out of 12 cartons, we only used eight bottles. This shows a significant off savings using drone spraying. The drones were attached with a particular sensor, AGX710. That sensor collects chlorophyll colors. My team consists of 100% local. Most of them are fresh graduates. We hire them through Job Center. And so far, they has been great. We utilize iReady to identify certain talents, high potentials. Then we decided to invest into them, give them training to be converted to permanent staff. We have four pilots, and then we have two data analyzer, and then we have one marketing, and then we also have one business development, and then myself. I was in the telco industry for about seven years, and then two years into construction, and then one year in electronics. I saw an opportunity within the oil and gas industry. Shell pointed me to there to start a business. The officer mentioned that I should join Accelerate. I was around iCenter. Um, I met a couple of founders inspired by what they do. So the moment I finished my DARE bootcamp, I applied in the office through DARE's grant. We purchased our equipment and that was really helpful. It saved us a portion cost of our equipment. The long term of Innovero goal is to build our very own product, IoT, attached to each assets that is required by the clients. If the IoT triggered with certain uh, values, it will send a SMS or email, then the drone will automatically fly. So you don't actually need to be on site to fly the drone, especially for forestry, oil and gas, where people, clients have a lot of critical assets. So one of our also long-term plan is to build a unmanned traffic management for Brunei. It's called Takeoff. It's a platform for Bruneians or tourists when they come to Brunei to apply for permit and to buy insurance for their safety but also to build a drone economy in Brunei to build the local industry here so that we can actually build our own manpower.